Spellbinder, you would benefit from some historical context. To act against the Grand Prophecy is to invite the Shadow Queen's wrath. The Chrysalis Obelisks detail the Grand Prophecy, though finding them is no mean task. When you encounter them, you will know them for what they are. Read them, study them, and perhaps you will find some illumination. And perhaps you will find the illumination you require in your battle against the Shadow Queen. Take the Chrysalis Obelisks to Ezekiel the Lucent at the Shrine of Lost Light in Sardonyx. Zaltana the Mirror Mask sent you to find the lost orbs of the Chrysalis Obelisks? That is an impossible task. Found them? Remarkable! What? Why, yes, you, you should install them at once. Take the orbs into the inner Sardis chamber and restore the Chrysalis Obelisks. Almost as soon as you enter the room, the orbs hum and crackle with energy and a sense of purpose. They fit smoothly into the Chrysalis Obelisks and lie ready and waiting to tell you their story. Sky and land once danced as one round the tree of magic's shade. A thousand years, a thousand more, memories of love and fury fade. Raven and spider played across sky and battled throughout the land. Spider fell into the deepest hole. Knocked away by Raven's hand. Spider roared and threw.
crashed against the heavens and finally fell into a sleep. His dreams made twisting shadow things, sowing chaos to one day reap. The candle flickers across the night. A child sailing the shadow sea. The spiral bends and twists and whirls, bringing the chosen back to me. The mirror will break, the horn will call. From the shadows I strike, and the skies will fall. The shadow web hums and stretches beyond the stars, touching all the spiral with spiders welcoming arms. You heard the words of the Grand Prophecy? And what did they mean to you? We must always try to serve life and light, while the Shadow Queen always seems to want to destroy them. Thank you.